Well, hello, friends. I'm in uh, Tampa, and I'm in the south end of Tampa at Gandhi Boulevard. And this is the public boat ramp just, just east of the Gandhi Bridge. If you're going to St. Petersburg, you get off the first or the last exit to this boat ramp. It's a public boat ramp, and uh, I've stayed here many times as I travel, spend the night. There's water available, and of course there's condos. You've got to have your condos. And part of this facility is uh, the game warden has the big headquarters here, and they go out in their boats and patrol the bay. We we'll also have a building here that's uh, the Coast Guard. I don't see them regularly, but they're in and out. And off to the side over here, where those barrels are, is some water, faucets, and uh, people clean their boats, run their engines, get them all cleaned up before they leave. So there's water available there. These bathrooms here, I believe, are just daytime use, dusk to dawn. But uh, Nice clean place, uh, flat pavement, pretty much big enough for any size RV if you want to come in for the night. I wouldn't stay a month or anything like that, although I have seen maybe some homeless come in here. Not that much though. Some new condos going in over there. But the lot is very big. The rules are pretty simple. Stay out of the way of these trucks and trailers. They're parking there while they go out fishing, but there's plenty of places along the edge where you can park. And uh, the cops patrol it a couple times a day, but they've never hassled me. So no cops, no creeps. There's some road noise over here from the uh, new construction. They put an elevated freeway there coming off the bridge heading eastbound and uh, it's not quite finished wasn't that started two years ago come on guys get it get it together and that's my co-driver my co-driver is Dottie Jackson she's wild nobody's getting in my van let me show you over here also you're out here in the heat. It's about 80 degrees today. 65 last night. Very nice. Windows open. No heater. No air conditioner. What? What is it? What is it, Dottie Jackson? She's trying to get to this fish head. <laughs> Here's how I run my rig. That's that's the Coleman Power Max. Power Mate, I'm sorry. It's about 500 bucks. It's half the price of the Hondas. It's quiet. Uh, 2,000 watts. That's plenty. One gallon of gas in the Power Mate will run the AC for eight hours. Although I don't run it that long, usually in the evenings it cools down enough you can turn it off. The AC unit is the Arctic uh, King. Arctic King is the best one I've had. It's lasted two, three years. The ones before that, the GE and the LG, uh, they have a warranty for one year and they conk out in 13 months. This one's lasted a long time. 5,000 BTU, 150 bucks, 160 bucks. You get a warranty and whatnot. When that starts up, it needs 800 watts for the compressor to kick in. And then it runs at 400 watts. And there's an econo mode on the, on the generator that you can switch to and it just runs nice. I bring a cable lock and lock it to my bumper because when you're napping, you never know. Someone might like to come along and take your little power mate. So a lot of boats are in the water today. It's beautiful, calm, not a lot of wind. So they're out there fishing somewhere. 
I want to also mention, does your state have antique tags? Because Mississippi does. Once you buy an antique tag, you don't pay registration ever again. Now, your vehicle has to be 25 years old or older, and it's uh, 37 bucks for the tag and another 25 for the fee. So you're talking 60 bucks, and that's it for registration. No more registration. You can sell the vehicle, and the new owner can transfer the tag, and he doesn't have to pay registration. It's a wonderful thing. I hope your state has antique tags. Well, we're going to do some snacking and napping. Hope you all are doing well. It's nice and warm. Flip-flops and shorts. Coastal Cab out. Talk to you soon.